In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up leg IK rigging in Blender. Now, if you'd like to learn how to model and rig a complete basic character, then I have tutorials on basic character modeling and basic character rigging. Link will be in the description if you'd like to check out those tutorials. And I've also created a tutorial specifically on ARM IK rigging, so links in the description if you'd like to check that out. And if you've already created a character that you want to rig, you can use that and follow along with this tutorial. But if you'd like to use the same leg model that I'm using, then I will have a free download of the project files for this tutorial on my Gumroad store and Patreon page with the link in the description. So if you'd like to, you can download the free project files to follow along with this tutorial. And checking out my Gumroad store and Patreon Patreon page is a great way to help support this channel. And then just one more thing before we start, I wanted to thank this video's sponsor, Blender Grid. Blender Grid is an easy to use render firm specifically designed for Blender. I've used the service and I highly recommend it. Upload your Blender file or a zip file with the blend file and textures. You can change the render settings on the website before rendering. Blender Grid will let you know the cost before you start the render. You can even choose when you want the render to finish if you're on a tight deadline. While it renders, you can check the rendered frames to make sure everything is rendering properly. Once it finishes, just download the files and compile the frames in a video editor. Use the link in the description to get $20 of render credit on your first render. Alright, so as I said at the beginning of this tutorial, if you'd like to, you can download the free project files to follow along. And when you download the project files, you'll get the finished rig leg, and you'll also get the startup Blender file with the leg model. Alright, so here is the leg model that I'm going to be rigging. So the first thing that I'm going to do is press Shift S, hold down the shift and s button and i'm going to move my mouse over to cursor to world origin and just let go and that way the 3d cursor is going to be right there in the very center so i can now press shift a and i'm going to go right down here to armature and i'm going to add a single bone and because we set the 3d cursor there right in the center of the 3d scene the bone is added there in the very center now there's a few viewport settings that i want to change so just make sure the bone is still selected and i'm going to click on the object data properties on the bone that's going to go to the bone settings and i'm going to open up the viewport display now I want to change the display as to B bone and I prefer the B bone and why I like the B bone is because I can change the visual size of the bone without actually moving where the bone is and I'll show you how to do that later in the video and then also I want to click on in front so I'm going to check mark the in front and that way even though there's mesh in front of the bone you're still going to be able to see the bone through any mesh or any other objects all right so let's press one on the numpad to go to front view and then I will press tab and that is going to go into edit mode of the bone. So I'm going to click on the little circle here and I'll press G to grab and I'm going to stick it up here. Then let's click on the top circle and I'll press G to grab and I'm going to stick it right down here. So I just want to make kind of like a hip bone, which is kind of going down like this. And then wherever these circles are, that is where the joint is going to be. So this is going to be one bone and then we're going to extrude out more bones. So just make sure you put these little circles wherever you want the joint to be. So wherever you want the leg to rotate. So this is going to be a hip bone and then you can see this is pretty thick it looks like a big square so what I'm going to do with this bone selected is press Control alt s so Control alt s if you have the b bone selected if you have it turned on to b bone Control alt s is going to change the visual size of the bone but it's not actually going to change where the bone is located so that is why I really like using the b bone display so now what I'm going to do is just select the circle I'll press one on the numpad again to go to the front view and I'm I'm going to press the E key and the E key is going to extrude out bones. So I'm going to bring this down here and I'm just going to stick it right here where the knee is. And then I will press three on the numpad to go to side view. You can press G to grab and just stick this again wherever you want the knee to rotate. So right about there. Then I'm going to press E to extrude again and let's just bring this down here kind of to about where the ankle is, kind of about there. Then I'm going to press E to extrude again and let's just bring this down there. And then let's press the one on the numpad to go to front view and you can see I need to select this bone and press G to grab and just kind of stick it there in the center maybe also bring that over a little bit all right I'll press three on the numpad again to go to the side view and I'm going to press E to extrude just kind of bring this out and then I will also press E to extrude one more time and that way we'll be able to rotate this and that'll kind of like rotate where the toes are now if you have a character with toes you can totally add more toes so I'm going to hold down the Z button go over to wireframe and let go so what you could do is you could select the circle here and then press 
press E to extrude, and you could extrude out toes, or maybe you have a character or a creature with like claws or something like that. You can just select the circle right here and you can extrude out as many toes or claws as you want. Um, but my character is like a stylized character, so I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that. My character is just a stylized character, so he kind of looks like he has like a shoe. So I'm just going to have two bones here and then have this bone going down. And also I'm gonna look at this on top view, and I think I just need to rotate these bones over to put it more in the center of the foot. All right, so we've created all the main bones, but I need to add two IK bones. So they are gonna be the bones which control the knee and also the bone which controls the foot. So first I'm going to select this bone right here, and then I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate it, and then I will just right click to hop it back to where it was. And then if you press G to grab, you can see that there is that little like checkered line there, and that is telling us that this bone is parented to the other bone. So I'll just right click to undo that. So I want to unparent this bone that we've duplicated. So I'm going to press Alt P, hit Alt P, and then I'm going to click on Clear Parent. So now if I press G to grab, you can see that that doesn't have the little checkered line there. So I can just right click to bring that back. Now I also wanna change the visual size of the bone because this bone is gonna be the controller bone. So with this bone selected, you can press Control Alt S. So Control Alt S is going to make that bigger. It's gonna make it appear bigger so it'll be easier to select. So I'm just gonna make it kinda of like a square, something like that. All right, so I'm now going to press the three on the numpad for side view, and I wanna add another bone here, which is going to control the knee. So I'm going to select the circle right here, and then I'm going to press E to extrude, and we're going to extrude this out. And then you can click with your mouse wheel to constrain it to the Y axis, and I'll just stick it there. Now this bone is connected to these bones, so what I wanna do is I want to again press Alt P, and we want to clear parent. So I can now press G to grab and bring it over on the Y axis, and we can just bring it out here in front front of the knee. Now I'm also going to press S to scale, just kind of scale it down a bit. And then I'm also going to press Control Alt S just to make that bigger so it's easier to select. So when the leg is fully rigged, this is going to move the leg and also going to rotate the foot. And then this is going to move the rotation of the knee. All right, so I'm now going to rename all the bones. So if you have the bone selected, you can go right over here to the bone properties and we can rename all the bones. So I'm gonna click on this bone right here and this bone I'm going to rename to hips. And then let's click on the next one. This one I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna rename this to upper leg, upper leg. You can really rename rename this to whatever makes sense for you, whatever works. Then I'm gonna click on this one here. I'm gonna rename this one just to like lower leg. Let's click on this one right here. This one I'm going to rename to knee. And then I'm going to hold down the Z button, go over to wireframe so that I can select this one right here. This one I'm going to rename to like foot one. And then I'll click on this one. I can rename this one to like foot two. And then the last one here, I'll rename this to foot three. And then also this one right here, this big one, the controller one, I'm going to rename this to ankle. All right, so we've now renamed all the bones. So it is now time to set up the IK. So to set up the IK, I'm going to select this bone right here. And actually, I want to click on edit mode, and I'm going to go into pose mode. We are going to do this in pose mode. So I'm going to select this one right here, the smaller bone, which is inside the bigger bone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here, and this is going to go to the bone constraint properties. So right here, I'm going to click on add bone constraint, and I'm going to add the inverse kinematics, or IK for short. So what we need to do now is add a target and that is going to be the controller bone So click on the target right here and we first just need to select the armature So this entire armature object you can see right here in the outliner This is called armature. So just select this rig which you're using which is just this armature now for the bone here This is where we're going to choose what bone we want to be the controller bone within this rig So click right here and I'm going to change this to ankle So right here in the target bone make sure you select this bone right here because this is the one which is going to control the leg. So right here, click back on this yellow one and just make sure you add that ankle, which is this bone here. All right, so now if you select this one, you can press G to grab and you can see that it is moving the entire leg. Now there is a problem. If you look right here, you can see that this bone, this bone is where we added the IK and it's kind of being put right up here and it's actually being put on the back of this bone. And why this is happening is because the used tail is turned on. Now we don't want this, we want this bone to be back in the center where it was originally. So I'm just gonna uncheck the used tail and now it's back there in the center. And then also if the bones are moved around and you wanna move them back to their default pose, you can just press the A key to select all the bones and then you can press 
Alt R, that will clear any rotations. Alt G, and that will clear any locations. And then Alt S, that will clear any scale. And that'll bring it back to its default pose. So the use tail is now fixed, so that is in the center. But you can see that this is moving around the entire leg, and I don't want it to move the hip bones or any of the other character. I just want it to move all the bones up to this one. So what we need to do is we need to click back over here on the yellow bone. This one has the IK, and we need to choose a chain length. So right now the chain length is set to zero, and when it's set to zero, it is going to use all the bones. You can see right here this yellow dotted line is going all the way up to the starting of the bone. So if I turn the chain length to one, now it's just going to move one bone, one bone behind it, but I don't want that, so I'm gonna click back on the yellow one. I'm gonna turn the chain length to two, and that way if I click on the controller bone, the ankle, and press G to grab, you can see now it's just moving the two legs and the other feet bone which are in front of it and that is what I want. Now I also want to be able to control the rotation of the knee so to do that I'm going to click back over here on this yellow bone and to do that we need to add a pull target. So again you can click right here and we just want to select the armature so just select the object of this rig which in my case is just this one armature. I only have one armature in this blend file. Now for this one the pull target bone we need to select this one right here. So this one I've renamed to knee. So if you click back over here you just need to click on the bone right here and we're going to choose the knee bone so just choose that bone now when I did that you can see that the rotation is actually being messed up you can see the leg is pointing over here and that is because of this pull angle so what you need to do is just change the pull angle to correct for that rotation now usually you're just going to either use negative 90 or 90 so in my case you can see negative 90 is actually going all the way back so I need to change my pull angle to a 90 and now that is pointed forward again you can kind of drag this around but usually it's either 90 or negative 90. All right so now that is pointing forward so I can now select this bone right here and I can press G to grab and you can see that is now controlling the rotation so it's controlling where the knee is pointing so I can now select this one press G to grab kind of move that up and then I can move this one around. All right I'm just going to double tap the A key to select everything and I can just press Alt G to clear any locations. So this is pretty cool and we're almost done but if I rotate this control controller, you can see that it's not actually rotating the foot. And so I'm going to click back on the yellow bone and I'm going to add another bone constraint. So I'm going to click on add bone constraint and I'm going to add the copy rotation because what I want to do is I want this bone to rotate when the other controller bone rotates and that way it'll rotate the foot. So just scroll down here to the copy rotation. So for the target, again, we're just going to select the armature. So just select this rig. And then for the bone, we want to select this one right here. And this one is the ankle. So on this yellow bone, go down here. And for the bone here on the copy rotation, I want to select the ankle. So now whenever I move this bone, this bone is going to be moved along with it because this bone is copying the rotation of the ankle. So I can select this bone. I can press R to rotate. And you can see it's now moving the foot so I can bring that around and rotate the foot. All right so the rig is finished but the mesh isn't moving along with the rig. If I hold down the Z button go back into solid view you can see the mesh isn't actually moving with the rig. So we need to parent the mesh to the rig. Now before we do that there is just one thing that we need to do. These bones right here these are the two IK bones and these bones are not going to move the mesh. These bones are controlling the other bones but then all the other bones are going to control the mesh. So we need to tell these bones to not move the mesh. So just click on one of these bones and then you're going to click right here on the bone properties and scroll down. And you can see right here there is this deform. So we are just going to uncheck the deform and then click on this one here and uncheck the deform. And that is going to tell these bones not to move the mesh. These bones however, all these other bones, we want the deform to stay on and they are on on default. So it's just these two ones that we want to be turned off. All right, so now we are going to actually rig the mesh to the rig. So I'm going to click on pose mode and I'm going to go back to object mode. So we're going to do this in object mode. So I'm first going to select the mesh and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the bones last. Now to parent the mesh to the bones, I'm going to press control P. Control P is going to bring up the set parent settings and I want to choose the automatic weights. So when you choose with automatic weights, it's automatically going to do the best job it can to rig the mesh to the bones. So I can now just click on the bones right here and then we can press control 
control tab control tab is the shortcut key to go into pose mode or you can just click right here and go to pose mode and i can just move this around and you can see it is actually moving the mesh which is super cool so that is it that is the finished rig now i do want to be able to tweak how the mesh is moving with the bones a little bit because when i'm moving this foot bone right here you can see it's actually kind of moving around the waist and i don't really want it to do that i just want it to move the leg so what we can actually do is we can manually edit how the mesh is being moved along with the bones and to do that we're going to edit the weight painting of the bones so what I'm going to do is click right here on the pose mode and I'm going to go back to the object mode. So now what I want to do is I want to select the bones and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and lastly select the mesh. So the bones are selected first and then hold down the shift key and select the mesh. So I can now click on object mode and I'm going to change this to the weight paint. So now that I've done that, I can use whichever mouse button I use to select. So I use the right click select, but most people use the left click. So you can just left click and select each bone and when you do that it's going to show you a color representation of how the bones are moving the mesh so when I select this bone you can see there are some different colors so if the colors are red that is telling the mesh to fully be moved along with the bone so when this bone rotates it's going to move all of the red areas but then as it gets more and more blue it's going to pull the mesh less and less and then once it gets to this fully dark blue that is not going to move the mesh at all so you can just select each bone and see how it's moving the mesh so for instance this one right here this bone is actually moving kind of the, the hips a little bit and I don't really want that so I'm actually going to weight paint this and make it a darker blue color so it won't pull along the hips so I'm first just going to double tap the a key to select everything and I can press alt R and alt G and alt S just to clear all of those movements and then just select the bone that you want to paint so I'm going to select this bone right here and so I actually want to remove color to make it more of a darker blue so I'm gonna click right here and this is gonna go to the brush settings and I want to change it to subtract so I can now just go along here and I can just tap and you can also change the radius and strength of your brush right here. So I'm just going to go along and kind of tap and just click and make that a darker blue color because I don't want this bone to move the waist. All right, so there we go. Now that is a darker blue. Now, if I select this one right here, this one I do want to control the waist because this is kind of like the hip bone. So what I'm actually going to do is click on this right here to go to the brushes and I'm going to change it to add and then I can just start to tap and I can make this more red because this bone I do want to control the hips. Just make it a little bit more red. All right, just like that. So now I can select this bone and I can press G to grab and you can see now the hips aren't being moved. But then if I select this, this is going to move the hips so you can just click on each bone and you can either add value or subtract value to change how the bones are going to move the mesh now if you select the controller bones you can see the mesh turns pink and that is fine that is because we turned off the deform because again we don't want these bones to move the mesh we just want these bones to move the other bones but then the other bones are actually going to move the mesh all right so once you're done with your weight painting you can just click right here on weight paint go back to object mode and then you can just select the bone and the shortcut key is control tab to go into pose mode and then you can just pose your character so that is it that is it for this tutorial so I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching and again if you'd like to learn how to model and rig a complete basic character then I have two complete tutorials on basic character modeling and basic character rigging the links to those tutorials will be in the description and if you'd like to help support me and this channel then checking out my gumroad store and patreon page are really great ways to help support the channel. But I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching.